You ever touch Magic the Gathering before? It's a weird question. When I was in college, like, mm, I don't remember what year it was, but I was taking some life drawing classes, and one of my teachers or professors or whatever uh, was an artist that painted the um, Magic card illustrations. That was his job. He would paint them and then sell them to, to Magic cards. And I went to Frankenson's and I bought some of the cards that he painted. And then I told him, hey man, I'm a huge fan. Could you sign my Magic cards for me? It would be so nice of you. And then I eBayed that shit so fast. Easy money. Damn. That was a classic scam. Early Ponzi scam. I think I was like <laughs> 18 you. or something. Yeah, that was sweet. No, I did literally make like... <laughs> probably... It felt like it was 10 times my money. Because I don't think the cards cost me more than 15 or 20 bucks each. And I'm sure I sold them for over 100 each. And there was more than two. I don't remember. But it was sweet. That was right before E3 that year. So I was like, you know, I forked over the 20 bucks for parking. I got some of those, those hot dogs that are wrapped in bacon. I got some for all my friends. Make it four of them. A hot dog for everybody. Amigo. Give them a nice juicy tip. That must have been the year... 2004 or 2005. Nah, maybe 2005 or 6. I don't know. And avoiding the puddle. What was the college he taught at? Hey, shut the fuck up, bitch. How do you feel about that? 